You probably don't know this about me, and I know it doesn't look like it, but I used to be fat. Now I'm not even gonna lie, it wasn't easy to get to that shape. Tried a couple of things that didn't work. So in this video, I just wanna share with you a couple of tips that I learned along the way that allowed me to lose over 20 pounds of weight. And also some tips that one of my friend gave me who actually lost 50 pounds himself uh, that I know can help you. So when I was in high school, because I was fat and I did not like the way I looked, I had a lot of self-confidence issues. And you know, whenever I went to talk to girls, it was always awkward and I felt like shit. I kind of felt like a loser because I wanted to have a girlfriend, but every time I went to see a girl and I didn't manage to get a girlfriend, because of my low self-confidence issues and because I felt like a loser because I couldn't find a girlfriend, well, my, co my confidence just got even worse. At one point, I just decided, fuck this shit, man. I'm going to finally lose weight, finally get a body that I'm proud of, and finally be able to go talk to girls. And so I started really working out a lot. I was already doing karate at the time, about two hours a week. And I decided that was not enough. And so I tried losing weight, weight with a lot of exercise. Started putting more effort when I was practicing karate. And I also started working out from 15 to 45 minutes every night uh, before going to bed while watching South Park. I was just uh, doing some exercise on my stationary bike. But the problem is it took a lot of effort and it did not help me lose weight as fast as I wanted. So I kind of lost my motivation. And you know what happens when things are too difficult? Uh, it's hard to stay motivated and keep doing them. So. So after a couple of weeks, I just gave up and, you know, a couple of weeks later, I try again. But again, like after a couple of weeks, I'd give up because it's difficult, time consuming. And I try again and give up and try and give up again and again and again. And it was kind of difficult and frustrating that I always kind of ended up giving up. And at one time I just said, OK, you know what? I'm just going to be fat. That's OK. I can't keep my motivation to exercise anyway, so might as well just give up. But I've been really lucky because at that time, unfortunately, my mother started having some kidney problems. And because of that, we had to stop eating meat. We had to move to a vegetarian diet. And this was a good thing, not because of the fact that it was vegetarian, you know, becoming vegetarian is not the solution but what happened is that my mother because she changed our meal plans so drastically she started thinking wait uh what if we change our diet and because we don't eat meat anymore my children are going to start having missing some nutrients vitamins and all that things and she was afraid that it would have a negative impact on our health so she started she started researching a lot about all the different types of food that we could eat and she started learning a lot more about all these types of food and learning what was good what was bad what how to set up the meal plan properly and even though i kind of had stopped all my big exercise habit in the evening i still managed to lose weight faster because of this better meal plan because of the new way that my mother cooked food so i lost 20 pounds and for the first time since I was like eight years old I finally had like a physique a body that I was fucking proud of and I started seeing myself as attractive as desirable and because of that like you know when you think that you're attractive and desirable you know you're not as anxious to go talk to girls because you think hey she's gonna be happy I go that I go talk to her because you know I'm attractive and you know, she's cute, she deserves a beautiful boyfriend, that kind of thing. And like, uh, for me, that gave me the courage to finally go talk to girls and stop being as awkward as I used to be. And gave me the courage to go talk to my high school crush. Um, didn't, it did not end up working out with that girl. But you know, regardless, I'm so happy of how much like I've improved just like in my self esteem and all that thing. And I think it's a really worthwhile process to go through if you're suffering from like um, low self-esteem lack of self-worth like just like I used to just because like because you don't like your body um, like 
you'll see I'm just gonna share with you I'm just gonna share with you the best simple tips that that I can share with you and I think the reason for me that uh, most people can't manage to follow their diets and all the their meal plans because you know there are all these fitness gurus that give you all these best uh, optimized meal plans but the problem is oftentimes these meal plans are either like uh, the, the meals are, taste like shit, so you don't want to keep eating them and it requires a lot of willpower and so it's hard to maintain. Or like it's complicated, it requires a lot of work to like calculate everything and do all that shit. And because it takes a lot of work, it requires a lot of willpower. And so like, and the problem is willpower over time, it goes down and so you end up just giving up. So if it's too complicated or the food tastes too bad, you're not going to stick with it. Now I'm going to tell you, the tips I'm about to give you are not going to allow you to lose weight as fast as some other fitness programs. But what I know is that since it's simple, the chance that you stick with it and that you actually stay consistent and not give up is a lot better than a lot of meal plans that I've tried. And, and so the chance that you finally get to your goal of losing 20, 30, 50 pounds is a lot higher. So no, you don't need to just eat like chicken salad and rice all the time and have like these boring meals you can actually eat a lot of variety in your meals and eat good stuff while still be being able to lose weight and no it doesn't have to be complicated you don't have to worry about it like every uh you don't have to count every gram and ounce of everything as long as you vary it up a little bit it's gonna be fine it's not gonna be the best, but since it's gonna be simple, the chance that you actually follow through with that plan is gonna be a lot better. So here are the three things that you need to do. Number one, stop eating shit. This one's simple. How do you expect to lose weight if you keep going to McDonald's? How do you expect to lose weight if you keep eating chocolate ice cream after your salad? Like, if you go to McDonald's, if you eat the chocolate, if you eat the candies, all that shit, it's just going to break your whole efforts. It's just going to make everything pointless. It doesn't matter if you exercise, if you go to McDonald's. And I know it's difficult to completely stop eating this. Okay, it requires a lot of willpower. But at least make effort, okay, to reduce it. If you can't break it completely, reduce it as much as possible. Number two, stop drinking calories. This one's very simple, okay? The only thing that you're allowed to drink ever, okay, is water. The reason for that is that oftentimes when you drink, it's because you're thirsty, not because you need calories. And if you drink juice every time you're thirsty, every time you drink to quench your thirst, you also ingest calories that you don't need. And quickly you end up creating a surplus of calories that prevents your weight loss. My aunt got really fat because the only thing she drank was Pepsi, okay? And her nutritionist actually told her to stop drinking Pepsi, stop drinking calories. And almost immediately that year, just she doesn't do any exercise. She doesn't do any of that, okay? She didn't change her eating habit. The only thing she changed is that she stopped drinking Pepsi. She lost 30 pounds. You have no fucking idea how much your drinking habits are affecting your weight. And because, and before you start thinking, but how am I gonna stop drinking alcohol? How am I gonna stop drinking Pepsi? I like Pepsi, it's gonna be difficult. Water is bland. Well, listen guys, my aunt who lost 30 pound, pounds is mentally deficient. If she is mentally deficient and she managed to stick with it, you have no excuse. So, Number three, let's adjust the camera real quick. All right. Number three, this is the best advice that my friend who managed to lose like 50 pounds in a year, my friend Victor, gave me. He said, losing weight is actually really simple. 
You don't need to starve yourself. You don't need to eat less than you're used to. All you need to do is that whenever you feel hungry, instead of going to eat chocolate, chips, cereals, or whatever you're used to eating when you're snacking, you just have to eat cucumber. This sounds stupid, but it's actually very wise because maybe you didn't know this, but cucumber takes more calories to eat and digest than it actually uh, gives to your body. So every time you eat cucumber, okay, no matter how much you eat, you will always burn more calories by eating it than it's going to give calories to your body. Cucumber is a type of food that is called negative calorie foods, okay? It's not just cucumbers, it's cucumbers, celery, broccoli, lettuce, and a, and a couple more. And you, don't, and you don't have to eat cucumber. You, ha you just have to find one of these uh, negative calorie foods that you like and start eating that instead of all your uh, snacks when you're trying to eat outside of your meals. If, you, if you're hungry, don't be afraid to eat cucumber. Cucumber is actually going to make you slimmer the more you eat cucumber. And the best tip I can give you about these negative cal calorie foods is make sure it's something you like. Go on Google, check out the different types of neg negative calorie foods and buy the ones you like. Don't force yourself to eat broccoli if you don't like broccoli. Because if you don't like broccoli and you force yourself to eat it, it's going to be difficult and it's going to be and, and as soon as you start start losing willpower and motivation, you're going to give up. It doesn't matter if maybe cucumber is better than another type of negative calorie food that you prefer. Don't get cucumber, get the one you prefer because this way you're going to be, have more chance of sticking with this process for longer, which means that you're going to have, which means that the chance that you actually achieve your goal and finally get the physique that you want to have to have more self-respect, self-worth, self-confidence and more uh, confidence to go talk to girls. So find something you, you can deal with. And overall, as I said, you don't need to starve yourself. You don't need to just eat like uh, chicken, rice, salad. You can vary up your meals. Just make sure you you don't eat shit. Okay, you don't have to have the best rice and all that shit. You just need to eat good meals. And stop, stop eating the shit. Stop drinking calories. And whenever you need to snack, forget about cereals, chips, and all that things. Just eat negative calorie foods and all the process is going to be simple, easy. You don't need to, to, to calculate anything. If you just follow that process, yes, maybe it's going to, it might take you longer than if you follow the perfect meal and nutrition plan from the best fitness guru. But the truth is, this is easier to follow than any other program meal plan that I've ever seen. And what I've learned from business is that and entrepreneurship is that whenever a task is difficult, you start procrastinating and the chance that you give up increases. And if you want to make sure you don't give up, you have to make it as simple as possible for yourself and as enjoyable as possible for yourself. So just follow these guidelines. Make sure you do it in a way that you can actually enjoy it and you're going to follow through with it. It's that simple. These steps have allowed me, my aunt, and my friend Victor all lose a lot of weight. I lost 20 pounds because of this. My aunt lose 30 pounds because only of rule number two. My friend Victor lost 50 pounds and his best advice is cucumber. So because of the results that all the three of us have had, I know this simple shit works. So just do it. And again, my aunt is mentally deficient. And if she managed to follow through with it, you have no excuse. So that's it. I hope you found this video valuable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.